Valley State Senator Melissa Melendez has just introduced legislation aiming to protect small businesses that defy coronavirus restrictions from fines and penalties. I spoke with her today about the proposed measures and why she says California's stay at home order needs to change. Melissa, it's good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Tell us about the legislation you're proposing and why do you think it's needed? The legislation is SB 102 and it states that the state cannot revoke the license of a business for failure to comply with uh, the governor's emergency orders unless the state can prove that that failure to comply resulted in um, the spread of COVID. I, I think that's a fair assumption to make. We have business owners who are in very dire straits who are hanging on by their fingernails and the last thing they need is the heavy hand of government coming in and swooping down and taking away their license, which means they can't operate at all. Their livelihood is, it would be gone. Right now, we are seeing a record number of hospitalizations and ICU admissions with thousands of cases here in Riverside County. Do you think the timing is right for this type of legislation? And what do you say to those who think that this really is just a bad idea and possibly dangerous? I understand their concerns and I share their concerns. We have seen a surge in COVID cases and I think we anticipated that because of the holidays and people gathering. But what people have to remember is there has been no data or science to show or suggest that dining in a restaurant in an outdoor capacity has led to a surge in COVID cases. What we do know is that people who are gathering in private homes, that has led to a surge. And we, again, we expected this would happen over the holidays, but there is nothing to prove that these businesses are the reason for the increase in COVID. So I think it's unfair that the licensing boards would threaten to revoke a business's license for failure to comply when we know the data and the science, even the governor said, shows us that these private gatherings really are the cause of the increases in cases. If this legislation does get passed, it may encourage businesses to defy the stay at home order is that fair to those other businesses that are following the rules and how else would we keep businesses in compliance? No business wants to get their customers sick. We know that because that's bad for business, right? So all of these businesses are complying with the rules. They do not want their customers to be sick because they won't return. And of course, that's a hit on their reputation. So I don't think that we have uh, you know, businesses out there who are flouting the mandates that are put out there. I think they're just trying to keep their heads above water. They will continue to follow all the protocols by making sure, you know, customers aren't sharing the same menu by making sure they're blocking off entrances and exits that so that you don't have kind of this you know group of, of customers in one area all of the things you know sanitizing all of the equipment they're continuing to do all of those things in in good stead and i think they should be rewarded for that by being allowed to operate rather than being punished because again they're not the cause for the increase in these cases